Now tonight, a bizarre case out of Muskegon County. A family thought they were burying the ashes of a loved one, not knowing that the urn was instead empty and that her body hadn't been cremated. Instead, the body allegedly lay in the back of the funeral director's minivan for days. The case has now led to criminal charges against the director of a small town's only funeral home and has left that town without a funeral facility. 24 Hour News 8's Ken Kolker is live in Muskegon, breaking a story you'll only see on 8. Yeah, Brian, we're at the Muskegon County of the Hall of Justice, where former funeral director Thomas Clock is expected to turn himself in tomorrow morning on serious felony charges. It's a very sad situation. We feel terrible for it. And because we're all part of the same community, when families are hurting, we're there to help. That's what we're trying to do. It is Dale Clock's cousin, Thomas Clock, who is facing fraud charges that could land him in prison for up to 10 years. While Dale Clock operates three funeral homes along the lakeshore, his cousin Thomas owns two of his own, the Clock Funeral Homes in Ludington and Whitehall. We've been separate businesses for over 20 years. Okay. And unfortunately, my cousin has had some challenges, and over the last six months, um, we know that it's been getting worse. The case started with the death on December 3rd of 86-year-old Helen Anthony in Muskegon. A source close to the investigation says Thomas Clock took her body to a crematorium, but later picked it up, still not cremated, after failing to follow up with paperwork. Records show he legally was not allowed to do anything with the body since his state mortuary license expired in late October. The woman's urn was buried here on December 28th at the Fruitland Township Cemetery. But when authorities exhumed it about a week ago, that urn was empty. That, a source says, is because Thomas Clock had left the body frozen in the back of his van. They say it was still there when police arrested him January 9th in that van for drunken driving, and that it stayed there for a few more days until somebody noticed it. The source says the van had been left at his Whitehall funeral home. Clock's cousin says he has tried to make it right for the woman's family, cremating the body and delivering her ashes. He, you know, wasn't thinking straight, and, and I'm terribly sorry for those issues that happened. Um, we're just here to help. We're just here to help. Now, we spoke to the dead woman's brother who's at the at that burial service. Now, he didn't want to go on camera, but says that he wants to know why this happened to his sister's body. We also spoke to Thomas Clock by phone. He denies any wrongdoing and says that if the ashes were not in that urn, that it was not intentional. Now, as for the... Uh, Apparently he had some prearranged services set up. Now the other Clock family says that they will honor any of those prearranged services. Live in Muskegon, Ken Colker, 24-hour news aid. An absolutely bizarre case. Ken Colker, thank you for that.